Hello everyone, we are at IHSC at our headquarters in uh, southern Germany. My name is Anke Ellis. Over the last 35 years or so, IHSC has become one of the world's leading manufacturers of KVM solutions. And uh, we are very well known for highly secure transmission of data signals. Our solutions are being used all over the world, uh, mainly in mission critical environments, because they're very reliable. I'm here today with Mark. Good morning, Anke. Good morning, Mark. And we are going to talk to you today a little bit about our new IP module, which is called CIRA CPU. So, Mark, what are you going to show us today? Well, today I'm going to show you, Anke, our Draco Zero CPU, the second generation, as a module to our Draco Vario series. So far, we've connected with KVM technology into real interfaces, such as video interfaces, USB interfaces, and so on. Uh, now the market has changed. So we see lots of virtualization happening, lots of web-based applications happening, and Draco Zero CPU basically gives that interface with a traditional KVM terminal to connect into both worlds without any kind of difference for the user, and that makes it just an ideal for such kind of a hybrid approach in terms of connectivity solutions. Well, second generation incorporates quite a lot of customer feedback that we've collected over the past couple of years since we've started with the first edition of that kind of technology. So key elements that we've been asked for was uh, higher performance, uh, support for 4K video, which we've incorporated. So we're now supporting uh, virtual sessions up to 4K 30 on a single head and we're supporting dual head applications with the same module so we can configure it for either or application and the dual head sessions will run at 1920 by 1200 and not only that also any kind of more CPU requiring motion picture elements or more fluent type of, of movement of, of image um, has been processed with this device much faster and been delivered to the user and the operator in a much better fashion. What are our specific use cases you can imagine for this product? Well, there are quite a lot of use cases where this technology has been used at. We see virtualization happening all around, more specifically in the broadcast world where we basically started with uh, the first generation of that technology. We're connecting into different types of virtualized machines, not having the high demand for highly graphical applications and things like that, making the whole backend management much easier for the clients. Um, and then we connect with RDP, Remote FX, PC over IP uh, into these virtual machines. But we have another nice um, offering for these clients specifically. We're supporting in a kiosk mode HTML5 web interface connectivity and lots of appliances within the broadcast world are being configured, operated using an HTML5 interface. So with kiosk mode we have the capability to connect safely into these environments without any kind of escape into let's say the, the dirty internet uh, for the operators. We can basically tie it down to just to, to one of these appliances and make this available without having the additional need for some kind of low power web based PC that needs to be serviced, that needs to be maintained and, and, and paid for. My next question, <laughs> it was about the IP world. IP, what a big subject everywhere in the world. Is it still safe to connect into the IP world with a product like this? Well, we believe so. We, we even think it's, it's even safer than, than anything else because uh, everything is under control. Everything is more or less uh, protected within the KVM world because we, we just take care of everything. Uh, the unit basically collects the IP interfaces and streams it out through the KVM system with just a KVM signal. So there is no IP leakage anywhere going from one network to another. So if you're connecting into private cloud and public cloud, uh, you would normally have some kind of issues because you would have to have, when being a single operator, connectivity to both worlds. And the KVM technology basically isolates that kind of IP traffic from each other and you have no no interference between the two networks anymore so we believe that, that that's highly safe and all the connectivity of course on the back end with within to the virtual machine technology is encrypted anyhow. Okay I think we leave it at that at the moment it was just meant to give you a broad overview now if you have any more questions please contact us any way you want and we'd be more than happy to talk to you. Bye from me and bye from Mark. <laughs>